All right, I'm holding up the football. I know there's no training camp or whatever, but I also know this is Cleveland. This is Northeast Ohio. Canton's down the road. And for the Browns, it's always football season. And the question is this. Some fans say, you know, I'm getting excited about the Browns. Should I get excited about the Browns? I guess I should ask, how excited is excited? I mean, are you 9-7 and seven excited? Are you 7-9 and nine excited? How about 5-11 and 11 excited? Let's stop right here. Football is not a fantasy game. I'm going to repeat that because it's very important. Football is not a fantasy game. In other words, we could do all our analytics, all our statistical studies, and we could say the Browns have replaced a Sean Kaiser, a turnover machine, with Tyrod Taylor, who really knows how to throw passes to guys on his own team. And hopefully those guys will catch them. So that's going to be an improvement. Secondly, they brought in Jarvis Landry. Tyrod Taylor from Baltimore, Jarvis Landry from the Miami Dolphins, who caught not 100, not 200, not 300, 400 passes over the last four years for Jarvis Landry. So when Taylor goes to throw, he actually has a guy who is very good at catching the ball, Jarvis Landry from the Miami Dolphins. Now, so far, you know, every time you say this, you've got to put it in pencil with a little question mark and maybe a little hopeful sign. Josh Gordon has stayed clean this summer as far as we know. He's not flunked anything. That's another receiver. They signed a running back from the San Francisco 49ers who played at Ohio State, Carlos Hyde. And they also drafted a running back from the University of Georgia, Nick Chubb. But I want to stop right here, and I want to go over something, because this is where I started with this. It's not fantasy, it's real football. See, in a fantasy league, you could just throw guys together from all over the place, and the numbers work, and everything just clicks. You don't see any sort of, like, bobbling a ball because, uh-oh, I went the wrong way. But let's go down the line here. Carlos Hyde from San Francisco, that's one team. Josh Gordon, Browns, that's two teams. Tyra Taylor, Buffalo, three teams. Jarvis Landry, Miami, four teams. Nick Chubb, rookie, University of Georgia, five teams. And I'm sure there are others that we could bring into this situation, but I, I think you get the picture right here. These guys have to learn to play together. They really do. And that's why, yes, the, like, for many years, Browns fans would say, well, it can't get any worse. What would happen? It would get worse until last year. Truthfully, 0-16, it can't get any worse unless the team's going to move again. So we are at the point where it cannot get any worse for the Browns. But and we're at the point where, like that ball was just caught, it will get better. But I think fans, coaches, all that have to realize that we hate the P word. It's not potential, actually. It's patience with this group because, yeah, it's a younger team, but these are some skilled players. I mean, Carlos Hyde, Tyrod Taylor, and you go Jarvis Landry, some of these other guys, they brought in all these uh, veteran defensive backs. These guys have been playing in the league now. They've been around. So they will know how that works in the NFL, but they have to learn how to work together. So I guess what I'm saying, yes, you should be excited because you'll see a better brand of football, but I mean, and I know we're all going to go when they start in training camp at the end of July. Oh, my goodness, they're going to win nine games, they're going to win ten games. Let's well, kind of cool the Jets on that one, but, but realize that actually there's a plane that will take off and probably fly for a while without crashing.